Tokyo. How are we doing, chat? Are we good? Are we good? I hope we are good. Refresh. <clears throat> do -do -do -do. Just made the list. Hey, come here, Ants. Thank you so much for the brand new sub, my dude. How do you do? <clears throat> we are going to be building a system today. We're going to build a new tactic. So we, we've messed around with, like, uh, creative, well, possession-based systems, or at least trying to get a possession-based system to work. And I just can't get it to work. So, I've got a couple of ideas that we're going to try. And it's based off uh, things that I've done on stream previously. Um, so, we're going to be trying to do some, th some, not necessarily new things, but so some things a little bit different. And we're going to be trying to create a heavy possession-based side that creates a lot of chances. <clears throat> <laughs> don't let me do yesterday, don't know today. A deal is a deal, mate. But I, I'll be honest, I'd completely forgotten about it. But thank you so much, my dude. I appreciate it. It is doing that really annoying thing, though. One sec. Let's fix this. I need to figure out why it does this. Why it does this kind of perpetual resub notification. My overlay. Stop. Uh, not you. You. Okay. If I save that. Hopefully that'll work. I don't know, dude. We'll see. It's not constantly rolling anyway. We'll see if it, it carries on if we get any more subs later. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Let's go! So yeah, we're doing some tactics with Dan. We're going to be making a system... Because the issue that we had yesterday is we were keeping tons of the ball, but creating no chances. So what we need to do, um, and then when we, st when we started to create more chances, we were just leaking goals. Uh, we were very leaky. So we're going to go, and we're going to do a... We're going to create a new tactic. Maybe two systems. Um, I'm actually going to... You know what I'm going to do? Tactic. No. Oh, wow. I'm going to clear that. We're going to completely start fresh. Um, completely fresh from the the tactic, the the formation, the settings, the you know all the individual TIs and PIs. We're going to redo all the set pieces. I think one of the things that, that the, w was the issue, one of the issues was that we weren't using set pieces in a kind of standard way and i think so like we were playing short corners short free kicks and all that kind of stuff and the game creates so many goal scoring opportunities and chances from break not only from directly from those but the breakdowns of those that we just weren't creating enough of those so i think we might go back to kind of like i don't want to use long throw hacks or anything like that but i think we might go for more conventional corners and set piece routines uh while still gonna go for that going for that heavy possession style but 
we need to change up the, the tactic as well because it just wasn't working. Like, I couldn't get anything working. So hopefully, we can get it, we can get it clicking today. I am having a beer as well because it's still, I'm cl classing it as my birthday still, right? I don't want to hear it, chat. So, I've got to reposition my camera and everything because like, I'm sitting about eight inches lower than I normally would because my chair has died. Millie ate him. I'm happy second, but it's technically third birthday now. <laughs> Two days after my birthday. But I, I've, I've got some beers in the fridge. I've got a few beers in for my birthday. Uh, I've got some birthday booze. So I'm just having a few drinks. And we're going to make some tactics. And probably a lot of uh, mistakes as well. Streaming the game. So as a, a reminder as to what's happened. We've been... Wait a sec, what? Load game. Why is... Basically, uh, what I did off stream is I just set my system to what we were using previously and holidayed to see if it was something that would like pick up, but nothing happened. <clears throat> So, um, we, so yesterday we, we went just into a default Gegenpress 433, like, preset Gegenpress 433. I'm actually gonna clear this slot, we're gonna set this to clean slate, and we're gonna start fresh. <clears throat> Um, what I'm going to do, we're going to clear the entire team selection. And we are going to be building a complete system from the ground up, including set pieces, individual player instructions, so PIs and team instructions, TIs. Oh. Would have thought it's more personal, not being capable, though. Got a lot of players out contracting this season. Um. Uh, we've got more than half the squad. Yeah. Well, I guess, like, four of those are loans, but... We've got a lot of players that aren't that great. Uh, we've got some players who have decent potential. Um, and a few players who I probably would pick, like, sign back up. So I'm looking at, like, Johan Zuma, Hardcastle, maybe Bradley Barry. Because um, they're, they're young. And we can kind of replace players around that. But, the main thing is, is we need to improve this form. So we did this of our possession system. And if you look at our actual kind of possession stats, like we're up there with the possession, uh, the actual possession of the ball, but in attacking, like expected goals, down at the bottom. Shots per game, down at the bottom. Like, we need to improve improve our attacking proficiency. So, losing Kevin Inspired Tactics. No, 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 no. We're changing it. <clears throat> we're using Viking Dan Inspired Tactics, and we're going to create two systems. We're going to create two systems. Um, One is going to be based off, and I say based off because I can't remember exactly how I did it, um, the 4141 Preston system, which was an a, a attacking dominant possession hungry system, based on uh, that was on FM18 though, so that's when you could actually have a possession system. And I'm also gonna try and do a flat 433 based off uh, our Red Star system, where we're gonna have our wingers being deep and creative and tracking their their fullbacks back but being in position to spring a counter-attack. So, we're going to try and do those two systems. First of all, I do want a false nine. But I want him being more a more aggressive 
a more aggressive everything. I want him trying more shots. I want him trying more killer passes. I want him finding the space. <clears throat> uh, on the wide midfielder spots, we're going to go. Wide midfielder on attack. So I do want him attacking base. Can you save? You can save presets, right? Okay. So I want him sitting narrower. So I want. Do I have my. I do. Oh! Right. We're going full tactics with Dan here. I want to go, like, f not full pep, you know. But I want to be having my players attacking different areas of the pitch, right? So for that, we are going to be breaking up the pitch into different zones. So you've got the center of the pitch. It's like the width of the six-yard box. Then you have the half space. I should probably do it in the top. You'll probably see it. I'll, I'll do it on the left-hand side. And then the wide space, right? you got the half space, the wide space. Uh, let's, just, let's just divvy up the pitch, right? <clears throat> Never go full Fraudiola. And what I want is I want to have, in attack, to have the the two three five kind of makeup but with overloads in different areas so for poor example uh say we're in attack and we're attacking we'll do attack in this side because my head's over there so we've got our keeper say we've got a couple of center backs and our dm whether we're going to be using a dm um as a dlp or a halfback i'm not too sure yet so it could even be like the DMs are split a little bit wider and the halfbacks there. But the main the main thing is is how we have our staggered front five. So I want my central midfielders to be taking up the half space. But I also want my wingers in those half spaces. So I'm thinking slightly more narrow there, slightly wider for our wingers in the half space. And then our false nine being the creator in, in there. And then we'll have our fullbacks up supporting that as well. So that'll give us plenty of options for passing moves. You've got overload potential. Because wherever you are in the pitch, with that kind of thing, you can have three players there. Or you can have three players there. Or you can have three players there. You see what I mean? Like You've, you've got overload potential basically all around the pitch. Where you can have three players, hopefully tying up against the two. <clears throat> so to achieve that and still give ourselves like defensive solidity, we're going to be going with wide midfielders because I can get him to do this. I get to crush on the byline, but cross less often. I can have him sitting narrower, um, and I can do all kinds of stuff with them. Right. So the idea with these wide midfielders is that they they naturally sit in this half space. When we've got the ball, they sit narrower. And it, that allows for my fullbacks to set, stay wider. Or do I go with wingbacks or do I go with fullbacks? Uh... Right, they, they all always have cross more often on. I guess we're going to go with wingback because they're naturally going to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, cross less often, but if you need to, cross from the byline. And I want your crosses to be near post. I want your crosses to be to the center. Uh, oh, actually, if we go fallback, then we don't have to have them running wider. I don't want to, like, hamstring them in terms of their dribbling. So we're going with that. Central defenders, because the uh, ball playing defenders have been boiling my piss. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to go sweep you to defend. I do want him coming, pushing out to clear up. But maybe the fact that he was on support me is one of the reasons he was hoofing it too much. I don't know. Uh, 
Okay, and then we're going to be changing our two central midfielders, just central midfielder roles. Because we can control what they do then. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go with a halfback, and we're going to split our centre-backs wider. But I think what I'm going to do is I do want a really high press. But I think I'm going to do that through player instructions instead. So more urgent for, for our attacking players. Uh, and then less urgent for our actual defensive players. So they can actually stand off a little bit. I do want him marking tighter and getting more stuck in. I want them holding their spot. Now, hopefully that doesn't mean that we're going to be giving away loads of free kicks, but we'll see. <laughs> um, F. Machias or F. M. Achias? Thank you for dude. I wish that I could just like copy. Okay. Save. Have I been drinking all day? What? Okay, so then we can just go... Load preset. It's probably like just a really more long-winded way to do this, isn't it, to be honest? There we go, whatever. At least now we know we've got the same instructions. But what I do want is I do want different different instructions with these guys. So I'm taking more risks, shooting less often. Um, and I want him, I do want him staying wider. So I want these guys being further up the pitch, being almost like forwards. These guys taking up a slightly wider spot, which makes me think I actually want to go with a DLP and defend. So he can kind of like just patrol in front of the back, back two. I actually think I want him on an attacking mentality as well. Yeah. You are gonna get further forward, stay wider. Um, let's just be on support. Dribble less. Uh, actually, gonna have dribble less as a team instruction. So. Andrew, hey there, man. Man, I need to, um... There's so many emotes that I've removed. <laughs> I need to change up a lot of these commands. <clears throat> okay, and then the Force 9 is doing the thing. He's doing the do. Um... Actually, we can have our front four press... The our support player is going to be in a similar press, and our defensive player is going to be in a similar press. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to go on uh, defensive midfield on defend. We don't have to force it through any any kind of player. Justice for Bobby Roode. God damn. It's more the fact that I just don't want to be sued by WWE. So you know that whole thing. Um, right. Team instructions. I do want a positive mentality. I do want a shorter passing. And now, I was thinking about this. Do we actually go on a standard, on a balanced mentality with a higher tempo and shorter passing? So the idea being that they're they're moving the ball around quickly, but not necessarily always looking for a killer ball. I'm thinking that may be the way to go. Now I do want to play out of defense. And we should be getting natural overlaps. Actually, no, let's force if we force the overlap. I'm staying wider. We've got them crossing less often anyway. So they'll just be forcing it wide and hopefully playing it back to the mid the midfielders who are available. Or the, or the wide midfield is where the, the balls can be played through. Okay. 
So the idea with this this whole thing is, if these guys run in here, these guys run out. The DM has the ability to to be the the focal point, and then we've got the the width being held by our fullbacks. You can obviously drop off a little bit and be around for passing passing maneuver and through balls and stuff. And such. <clears throat> I do have them crossing center. Yep. Uh, crossing near post. Yep. Exactly what I want. Uh, I also want low crosses. Now, do we want to work the ball into the box? I feel like if we're playing a shorter passing balance mentality, work ball into the box might be too much. It might be too much there. It might be forcing players to really not... Um, not try and take any killer killer passes or anything. Now, we've already got all of our players on, like, shoot less, so... So we'll be doing that. We're going to counter press. We are going to hold shape. We're going to get the keeper to slow the pace down. We are going to be high pressing. So I do want to go a bit higher up. Now, I wonder whether we should have a cover centre back, you know. I think we should. If we're playing a higher line, because we've got quick centre backs. So we should have like a cover centre back and someone who's a bit more standard. Because of that, though, I'm not going to play an offside trap. I'm going to leave the pressing intensity as standard because I've set individual pressing instructions. And we are going to set individual pressing instructions based on positions as well. So, center backs. Uh, center mids. Attacking mids, I want to press. I want to force people inside. Giggity. I'll show them onto the left foot. I want to show these guys into the right foot. I want to tight mark and weak foot these guys. Um, I'm not going to do any individual tackling instructions, actually. Actually, I want to press the keeper as well. Um, I'm going to take control. I'm taking control! Uh, yeah, they're in the skin, there you go. Okay. My only worry with this is we might be a little bit light in terms of players forward with our fullbacks not being on attack, but we can see. But... When's our next game? Playing Salford, the 20th. At least the nice thing is, right, I know we were just kind of... Just button... Well, just fast-forwarding through the game last night. But we, we have at least got some points. So we're not looking too bad, right? We've got 16 points after 14 games. A point a game is my kind of, my barometer. Or anything over a point a game and we're doing okay. Now the question is, is do we start playing Scott Maloney? Put a one-on-ones. Mentally he's not that great. It's not. Neither of them are that good. There's not a lot between them. Um, Bradley wants to play some games, so he's going to play some games. No one's playing particularly well. Scott Quigley, though, has actually been in decent form. 
I wonder whether we should be playing him as a... Can we, can we play Force 9? He's probably as good as anyone really is playing Force 9. Um... He could definitely play as a DLF if needs be. Which isn't too much different than a uh, false nine. Just a bit less a bit less dribbly. Right, what we'll do is we won't be playing him just yet. We are gonna go with Matt Platt and this guy. Whose name I still don't know how to say. Um, Hardcastle's going to be our DM because he's good on the ball, got a great work rate. I like him. We're then going to be having... Now, do I want... I'm trying to think what kind of players I want either side. Um, I think I want the, the correct foot on the wings. Or do I? Go with weaker foot on the wings. For now. Uh, I probably would be starting QER over Luke James, but he ain't available. Looking off Kean Flanagan, Jamie Devitt's injured. So we'll bring Ollie Banks, I guess. Um, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to play Carolyn Gribben in the middle. And quickly up front. That's what we're going to do. Are you good, Finley? I do. Right. This is the system we're using right now. Uh, I do need to change the set pieces, though. Um, so, corners... Do that. Well, you in the edge of the area. Just have these guys going back. I always keep two people forward. Probably a terrible idea, but that's what I do. Okay. And we attack. Uh, near post corners. The defenders' heads. We have our wings attacking the far post. Strike on the strike on the keeper. A couple of people lurking. These tiny bears disappear very quickly. And um, and then short corners. Sorry, uh, near post corners. Yes. Everything else, I might just leave standard, you know. Free kicks, con uh, free kicks and stuff. I will for now. We'll see how much we feel that we're not gaining from that. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Good evening, Beth. I'm nearly missing my mouth, though. It just went in my beard. Which is probably more embarrassing, to be honest. Right. Salford City at home. Recruitment meeting. I just want to tell them to get like find young good young players. What we need to do. First of all, can we like So our, our scout in package, please? It feels like I keep resetting this. general I want young uh, yeah when we used to be able to look for like young technical players 
what I want anyway. Change it up. Keeping it fresh, you know. Me like. But with level of impotence, are you saying uh, Beth is impotent? Wow. Wow. I'm sure Beth has more than the ability to get a hard penis. I'm going to stop talking now. <clears throat> uh, Ollie Banks. Be better. Callum. I've shouted him at him a lot. I am getting him to learn a new role as well. So we'll... We'll, we'll give him... We'll give him a break. I shall not hammer him too hard. Right, this is the uh, the first time we're playing this new system. Let's see how it goes. What we are going to do, though, we are going to give it... What what do we think is a, a good, like, time period to get a bit of a barometer as to how this system's working? Like, I don't want to... I think part of the issue was me, as I was just chopping and changing shit all the time. So I really think part of the issue was me. But how long do we give it? Like what kind of time frame do we go, right, we really need to start changing things a little bit more definitely, like, maybe like the slight, slight tweak to a tempo or a passing range, like a passing distance. How high are we playing our line actually? Damn, with, with, I feel so deep. Five games, yeah. Five games feels about right. Here we go. Nice. Got the ball and then immediately did absolutely nothing with it. Perfect. I might actually watch in 2D. It's, it genuinely feels like the game is just trying to wind me up. Like, wh why are you hoofing it? Why are my players constantly just hoofing it long? Too deep to remove the pain. Yeah, I don't know if it will, though. More hoofs. Here we go. Tomei. Back to Hardcastle. So Gribbin's got forward to support the... Okay. There's James. Kind of in the half space. Okay. Plays it back. Nicely done. Gribbin's there if you want it. Wasn't a bad cross. Alright, okay. Not too bad. Flanagan swings it in. There's no one there. <clears throat> Hardcastle chips it back in. Oh! He was offside. I thought he was, but... We know it cleared directly to their player. Hey, Elbrook, how you doing, man? I hope you got set. Off the bar. Gonna stake a claim in Norway. Have you bought some land? Uh, I'm gonna say we're not happy with the performance. We 
we're gonna let the the, the game play out because I think as well like it's worth bearing in mind that my players are in pretty bad morale I think <laughs> so I think uh, I think we need to like play ourselves into a bit of form I, what I am going to do, though, is really quickly change quickly to be a DL, DLF support. Rather than a false nine. He's just a bit more suited to that. He's 6'4". He's not a dribbler. Hacked clear. Another free kick given away. This is a goal, isn't it? Wow. How goes Barcelona? Not great. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> is it all I hope for? Uh, well, we're now we're losing the possession battle against Salford, who are lower than us, and we're still not creating any chances. Don't follow people, please. I'm going to take all of my... All of my kind of willpower to not, like, just randomly start changing shit immediately. Scored a goal. Let's go. It's a nice finish. Terrible goalkeeping. Absolutely appalling goalkeeping. But I'll take it. There's some really, really tired boys in the pitch. Quigley's fucked. Um, um. Actually, we'll undo that. Put Harkas a little bit higher up. Bring you. Let's go. I think they're done. Barrows on the way. Viking ball, mate. Kosk. Thank you for the follow, dude. Wow. Can we get an undeserved last minute winner? No. When you win a tackle, please like, make sure you don't just give the ball straight back to him. Thanks. It's a point in a game that we deserve to lose. Create the better chances, have more of the ball. But I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna let them believe that they're not terrible <laughs> for now. Right, FA Cup second round. It's Harrogate, where are they from? They're League Two, they're above us in League Two. I don't know why you have faith in, the, in my way, in the Barrow Salona way. What do we do if I get sacked? Like, this is a gen. I was thinking about this earlier today. Like, I've got a genuine concern that we might get sacked.
And what do I do at that point? Manage hips. Wow. I don't know why anyone would inflict that upon themselves, but. What are our next few league games? Away against Crawley, away against Scunthorpe, and then, then at home against Cheltenham we were first. Nice. They play control possession. They play the way that we want to play. Right. I'm going to keep a, sli a slightly higher tempo. We'll ask the team to go about their business in a more urgent fashion than the team mentality allows. Moving the ball around quickly and decisively using the intensity of their approach to unsettle the opposition. I want that. That's what I want. Mags Bags wouldn't drop this low. We require... I want something, I want a more fun playlist than this. What should we listen to, chat? Let's hit surprise me. Let's see what they let's see what they give me. I've got a skip button. Do, 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 do. I'm just play cautious. I'll I'll settle for balance. Uh, we'll go for it. Right. Callum is up top. Banks and Hardcastle. Uh. No, everyone. Your hands off my pick. Jones is going to play. Erdley's going to play. Actually, no. He is not good. Bram Hall. Ollie Banks in. Luke James. Bruff. Uh, Biggins, Scott Maloney can play. Zuma, beating Gallum. It's our team, dudes. Let's go. Let's go. It's like coming in alone. Nice. Let's go. Please. Please. I just want us to, like, not suck at football. Is that too much to ask? Bullied off the ball. And there we go. The customary hump forward. Nice. I think, I really think we're going to get sacked. My players just don't seem competent. There we go. Let's give the ball away again. I want to know how this is a short pass, okay? We play a short passing game. There is literally one, two, three like open players that you can play to. You just chips it to nobody. You just chips it to nobody. Two nil down. Is that two shots, two goals? 
Two shots on target, two goals. Nice. Good job I'm drinking. So bad. Just so not play quality. I don't know, man. Like, I really don't know. I don't know whether this is something that you just can't do. Like, the game won't let you play this. This kind of football with plays in League Two. I don't. I don't know. Because you can do it. I get that the, 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 there might be mistakes. But it's not that the, there's mistakes being made. It's that the team, the players... Uh, there we go. Another, another random who forward. It's not that the players are making mistakes. It's that they're just... They're not doing the instructions. They're not doing the team instructions. There's so many random hoofs forward. Man, I ain't feeling this. Fuck. Use runner defense. Might cut the random hoofs out. Well, my players lose the ball dribbling too much as it is. I want them dribbling less. If anything. Will be more disciplined as an instruction help? I've tried that. I didn't change a thing. Didn't change a fucking thing. Early. Cool. Don't follow up about the cleared ball. Just, uh... Stand off. Oof. It feels like the shorter I make the passing, the more they hoof it. Very frustrating. Terrible. I've had two shots in the entire game. I've had a bit more possession. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. 
Not confident, eh, Combo? Great ball. Then we'll bring those two instructions in. Embrace your in a cup. No. <laughs> no. How we haven't conceded more goals, I have no idea. There's just so many random chipped balls falling. It feels... Oh, I don't know, man. I know I've got, like, take more risks on my centre mids. Maybe we need to have everyone taking less risks. But then, like, no one's going to try a through ball. Pass it around a bit, get bored, and then punt it. Yeah, basically. So, oh, we've not had a shot in eight seconds. Better get it forward and then just give it directly to a defender. Barcelona meets LLM. I was debating putting get stuck in more because my players seem so passive defensively. Man, that was that was really bad. I need my keeper to stop being a dickhead. But how? See, everyone's automatically got short of passing on. Let's take these off. Take fewer risks. Everyone. Everyone take fewer risks, please. I don't mind these two, because they'll be up and around, but like... Man. Do, 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 do. Holbrook, uh, stream or write a blog or something, dude. Don't use my chat. Position tactics can work. It seems like there's. There's a real, like. You've got to make a choice whether you want to create scoring chances or you want to keep the ball. Like, the, you can't have both. Which is weird because, like, a lot of very successful teams, arguably some of the most successful teams in history, have kept a lot of the ball and created a ton of chances. Hey, look, our youth intake's gonna be terrible. Oh, the board liking it. C plus. That's not bad, considering how bad we are. Do 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 do.
everyone else is on the medium. So Maloney's injured. Christ. Uh, I mean, plot you, whatever your name is. Hard castle. We'll go with Griven as the false nine. I guess James and uh, Bramhall. Love this playlist. This is disco. Hell yeah. Can't afford to suck me uh, Working in my, uh, working in my favor. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Callum Griffin looking complacent. Excellent. There's the first two for the game. It genuinely feels like my players don't have the concentration to pass the ball for more than two times. We've scored a goal from a set piece. We ain't celebrating it.
I'm, I'm essentially running like um, a Mazala attack and support here because they're taking up the half space. Light the beacons of Gondor. I won a game. Holy shit. Instead of getting dipped by Holland and Mbappe. No shock. No, uh, I watched the um, watched the highlights of the the Barca PSG game. Damn, Mbappe's good. Can we put two game like two performances back to back up? Maybe. Maybe. Right, Callum needs a rest. But then again, so does Scott. Hmm. How long is our next game? Three day rest and we've got a week off. Right, we're going with our best 11. Dion Donahue. Shut up. Get on with it. Throw a pace on the wings. They're, they're very similar players, like fast and nothing else. It'll do for me. We need to find our, um... Oh. Duncan Watmore. Um, we need to find our next kind of, like, high work rate powerhouse winger. That's what we need. Zoomer in. Okay. Submit the team. <laughs> hey. Oh, you know what I've not been doing is the opposition instruction as well. Pump fists. Um. Pick up where you left off, boys. Let's go. Helen Gribbin's looking complacent. Go and have a good game, son. Opposition. Let's go. Let's win another game. Can we get back-to-back -back wins? Would that be back-to-back -back wins for the first time this save? If we can do it. I don't get me wrong. I don't think we will, but... Ready. How you doing, man? Forty-four months. Dan's game, indeed. Hey, look, he didn't punt it randomly. He's lost the ball, though. No. No one tackled anyone. Good. Uh, I'm on. Yeah. Yeah. We just won a game.
We're just not very good. I mean, it's not looking, it's not looking like that's gonna happen, is it? Position not working. Honest to God, man, it's like, it's like you either have to have possession or score goals. There are your two options. You either, you either have possession of the football or you score goals. That's how it feels playing this game right now. There we go. Another random chip up front to nobody. It's just happening again, guys. Like. What is the keeper doing? It just feels like whenever we get the ball, there's just... They all just go, ah, fuck it. Chip it up. With zero kind of... Zero planning or thought process to it. Tell them I'm not pleased again. Again. So whenever we start moving forward, the highlight ends. Whenever we get the ball back in defense, we just chip it back to them and then they score a goal. Damn it. Gribbin. Tome. Not bad. Tomei's in. Devitt. Oh, Grimmin! He's offside! Played narrow or wide. Neither. We're just playing standard. Bramal's about to die, though. Let's get a... Maybe if we play ultra wide, it'll give us more kind of open players to pass to. All my players will just keep hoofing it randomly. I don't know. One of the two. Pass it to a centre back. Oh, he did it. And then he hoofed it. Nice. gets it like my keeper's gone right he's really drilled us to play out from the back okay I, like let's get it to zuma and the first thing he does is like full wind up just hoofs it as far as he can the first the first thing he thinks when the ball starts coming to him better start winding up my leg now are you fucking kidding me <sighs> And from the hoof ball, we concede. It's every fucking time. Hoof ball to nobody. Then my defenders are incompetent. And we concede. That's what happens. Oh, there we go. It's just a constant thing. It really, it, it does feel like it's the way that the, the match engine tries to show like a, lo a lower quality of player is just their inability to do anything, anything footballing wise.
He was six years offside, mate. That was shit. That was really bad. We win a game, we lose a game. We're still ahead of the one point per game played ratio. Zuma loves a hoof. They all love a hoof, dude. None of them are capable of rational thought. The reason I went much shorter is because they were hoofing it too much. Maybe, maybe it just needs to be shorter. I don't know. Mike Jones, eh? But you are not good. You're not a good footballer. Then again, it's not as if anyone else is like keeping him out of the team with his with their amazing performances. Cool, have some games, dude, whatever. Show me that you're worth it, dude. trying to re-sign Yanazai. He said Darren Drysdale on him. What a hero, dude. I've got a... I've got like a trapped nerve in my neck. Oh. Does someone want to come around and walk all over me? What are the board expecting? A, a mid-table. To apologise. I guess he's squared up to a player. I can kind of see why. I wish he hadn't. But I can see why. Is anyone absolutely knackered? Yeah. Right, Quigs. Let's see how you do. shot himself and ran away. I mean, yeah. I guess you shouldn't really be squaring up to football. <laughs> to players, you know. I'm a big fan. But... Yeah, what about the ref, yeah. You put your heels on. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Plays do that all the time. Square up to the ref. Mm. Grealish came out and supported him on Twitter. If you had more player, more sorry, more referees like beating the shit out of players, then there'd be less players squaring up to him. Now, I need to get, um... Oh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, I've forgotten his name. He retired a few years ago. The, like, Jack Skinhead ref.
just fucking, it's just hoof. Hoof after hoof after hoof. What was his name? He always got uh, accused of being the being a United fan. I forgot he's got that name. I'm not too bothered about the the performance in this game because. Everything's just so bad. Like, we're, I'm expected to lose it. These uh, guys are second in the league. Yeah, Howard Webb. Webbo. Get him back. Get him throttling players. He, he looks like he could beat a few people up. Everyone loves money United. Any sane person, anyway. Oh my god. Have we worked an opening? Callum Gribbin! Kalina was great. Isn't he the only... Wasn't he the, like, on a FIFA box? He was on the FIFA box art one year, I'm sure. And he's the only non-football player to ever be on it. Was it Pez? We've been absolutely battered this game, by the way. They are second in the league, though. Oh, they were. I ain't too pissed off. I'm pissed off with that, though. Just the... Constantly chipping it to defenders. Four points out of three games. I ain't too mad. I'll take four points out of three. No, I won't actually. Eh, yeah. To the end of the season, I'll take four points out of three games. I want to see, it, see some of the stats on this, actually. We're so deep. Even though we're, like, controlling possession, we're so deep. We need to be much further up the pitch. I'm all making less risky passes, yeah. Yeah, you can you can make them make less risky passes. I've got all that turned on. But they just randomly chip it. It's not producing any results. Try training harder, mate. You're training shit. It's not producing any results. Because you're training like a fucking dickhead. That's why. Emma Hayes is South End manager. Sick. I 
That's the first woman I've ever seen get a manager's job. In FM. Has anyone else seen a, a, a woman get a manager's job? Only one in the game. There's uh, there's other female staff members. But... Less risky passes automatically lengthens the passing range. That's stupid. Surely you should, like... <sighs> Let's have a look at what... The riskiness of passes means. Less passing risk. As a place to retain possession first and foremost. Playing a sensible and patient passing game without unnecessarily conceding possession to the op opposition. So you're wrong. At least you're wrong in comparison to what the description should is. Either this description is completely false, which I'm not saying that's not the case, um, and it doesn't work the way it's supposed to, or you're wrong. Unclick it and the range goes down. What do you mean here? I've got short of passing on. Let's take take it off everyone then. All right, let's see let's see if it's changed. Bradley Barry's expecting more game time. You've been playing loads of games, though. Where do you see promises? There we go. Distribute to the DM if the defender's going to become DM does it as well. Yeah, yeah, it's um, I think it's just another thing that's been done wrong on the game, you know. I really hope that this this March patch is a good one because if it's not, if a lot of these, if a lot of the issues, i.e. The, you know, tactical implement implementation doesn't work. Stat tracking doesn't work. Even like uh, the same stats in the same in the same game aren't the same. Like th three different pages are different. If if these things aren't fixed, then I don't see how people are going to keep playing it. Well, people will keep playing it because there's no other option. But I like given the option, I might just not. I might not play it this this year. I'll keep streaming, obviously, but like, I think this might be just the year that I can't play Football Manager. I don't see how you do it. I don't know how they've let this game be released in this state.
Smart. Uh, you need a rest. So do you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Well, the thing is, is like if it doesn't fix the issues that are here now, this is. Like, I love Football Manager. I've played hundreds of thousands of hours on this game. Like, that's probably not even that much of an exaggeration. I've definitely played at least well, no, hundreds probably. Is. I've played tens of thousands of hours on the Football Manager range of games. Last year's was bad. This year's is even worse. Um, the the fact that there was still issues after the, their ma the, their fixed patch in March, you know. Um, was a re was a real issue. And I said it yesterday. Like, the thing with FM now is there's there's a meta way that you have to play to win anything. You see anyone winning anything with like any regularity, and it's Gegenpress. It's Gegenpress attacking football, right? Anyone who does a, you know, a journeyman save or a glory hunter or whatever they're doing, like, anyone with any success is playing the same way. And it's less about tactical flexibility and learning how to actually kind of play the game in the way that it should be played. Oh, well, not should be played, but the way the game was designed to be played, which is with tactics. And it's just more about the kind of players you can get in. But it's little things like that, like the description that is in the match, in, in the tactics engine, that says, take, making less risky passes makes your players want to play a more conservative, well not conservative, but like more position style of play, which isn't the, tr isn't the case. Just like loads of people say, like, they've got no drop, and I don't, I don't doubt that everyone, everyone at SI wants to make the best game that they can, right? I don't doubt that everyone that works there does the, does everything that they can to make the game as good as they, they can make it. The, one of the issues is though, is, is there is, there isn't another option. Like, there is no challenge. Where are Port Vale? The four. There's, there's loads of different ways to skin a cat. There's loads of different ways to skin a cat. Uh, just not in FM. I mean, the thing is as well, uh, we are playing a, like a pretty high press system. Eh? Like, at, least we, at least I would be if my players were competent. I like... I'm, I'm 50-50 between it's the system and it's the players with this. It'd just be nice if we could actually... We've had a 0.3 XG. It's annoying when that's the case and you see your players just doing stupid shit. There we go. Everything's just rushed, man. Like, Play lower tempo, shorter passing. We're playing lower tempo, short passing, more discipline, less dribbling. Let's see how many times my players just hoof it. If we get another highlight. See if we get the ball here. See if we actually pass it to one another.
we just scored a goal. It's because of Liverpool and City. Why is it because of City? City play a really patient passing game. Hold on, Callum. Don't you dare hoof it. Oh my god. We're pa Nice. Oof. We won that ball though. Oof. I don't mind losing away, away from home, against teams pushing for pr promotion. I don't mind losing. It's just I wish that the players would play like would do the things that I wanted to do. I don't mind. Honestly, I don't mind. I, I'm I mind conceding that goal less than the random bot like the random goals that we concede when we hoof it forward and give the ball away immediately. Like I mind that less. Because that was a mistake because my players were trying to play the way that I asked them to do. And that's fine. We we'll, we'll give the ball away like that. And, and then we concede from the break away from that. That's my issue. Look, it's just random hoofs. Another random hoof. It's how many in this entire passage of play when we've got the ball back? One. One random hoof forward. Pass it back. Two random who's forward from our centre backs. Three random who's forward. Is there going to be another? It's the one, one passage of play. Three things I'm specifically telling my players to not do. You get to see the pass mark for your defenders if the pass mark worked. Pass mark. Well, that's the thing. Pass mark. I can't. I can't decipher anything that my players are doing. The thing is, is I know that my players are doing. All Meet on an OBS. Can you hear me? That's weird. fine play some games i can't really drop like with people coming in kicking off about not getting game time i can't really say well x y and z are playing better than you that's why you're not getting in the team you know
Like, this is my only option. Is to, like, to, to click the button that should be make, making them take fewer risks. That's my only option. Because they keep hoofing it. We'll try that. He might roam about a little bit more on support and offer himself up as a passing option. Gonna save in England. Which team should you? Yeah, it'd be Lincoln. There you go. Roll a twenty-sided die, dude. Done it, you. So I can play DLP from DM. I do. The issue, right? The issue when your only D playmaker on the pitch is in DM is when you're up in the final third, you get so many players just chipping the ball back to them. We'll try it. We'll give it a go. Um, I've got Hardcastle. He's fine there. Tenfold. All right, yeah, go for it. Robbie Burns. Yeah. Go Hearts. Go a real club. the worst idea though like my, my only issue is is then your forwards look for him like god damn but hey it's uh the end of the year so i'm gonna go have a wee Mike Jones won a game time. Yeah. That's the team. I'm gonna go for a win a second there. But the best way to play this FM stories. That's definitely it. I was I said this yesterday. Like you've you've almost gotta ignore the tactics a bit and just go. Well, we've got to play away. You've just got to, like, make a story. Make a story. The players are sign in. Yada, yada, yada. Bish, bash, bosh. Right. You're going on a uh, comprehensive highlights chat. I need to pop the bathroom. I'll be, I'll be.
Nil nil. What an enthralling half of football. Set you off. Pass, pass it to Harkable. There we go. My god, we've progressed the ball at the pitch. Look how slow everyone is at getting up, though. Strongly forwards. If you missed, not a lot, mate. <laughs> not gonna lie. Looks all united. Thanks for the help, dude. <laughs> Where's that Darren Gibson? Wait, what? many like balls over the top that are pointless. Maybe the DLP in de defensive midfield is the right move. Just kind of like letting the, the ball rotate through him. I didn't realize, is he at Salford IRL? Blash from the past. Yeah, he's beating his man. Can't get the ball in. I'd be even more expressive in the final third. This performance has been a little bit better. He says, as he just skies one from forever away. Here you go. What was that? You just keep grubbing in the ass. We won the tough tackle there and then just gave him the ball back. And now that we've given him a corner.
Last minute winner? No. <laughs> We're gonna be fine. Would have been nice to win that though. Right, I think I want our um I want just we have got a dream more, okay. Put inside and you got it. Progression's good. We just can beat anyone. Yeah. I feel like it's we're, we're taking baby steps. It's to getting where we need to be. In twenty first, we're against Exeter. We win this game. We've dropped to a C rather than a C plus. Tom Beedling. It's not gonna happen, mate. Fox on. Go play with the children. How many like regular starters have we got here? Too many. Not what we need to do actually. Do that. Do by that. Strange. 
what we need to do is in the new like when the transfer window rolls around and there's a lot of free contracts up we need just technically proficient players like we need to just find good technically sound players like i'm thinking like technique first search composure decision making like they need to be a minimum of what like 11 for every position that we're bringing in i feel like this is just a requirement Should we do some gambling? Do you guys want to gamble? Ten or eleven, yeah, yeah. First search. Composure decisions. 11. Up to 23. And whose contract is expiring in six months. And then we're just going to set all of our scouts looking at these guys. Reports, please, boys. At the short list for six months, and we'll keep an eye on them. <clears throat> I wanted to use 11 to kind of like narrow them down a bit. So like defensively, we're okay. We're just sh like, we're just shite. We're very like bang average defensively. We're just bad in attack. And that's what we need to figure out. The playlist is great. We're just going to stick on this. This guy is my jam, dude. Disco Funk and Soul. Yeah, baby. Mm. We're playing football, baby. <clears throat> Why can't I confirm the selection? freestyle some soul lyrics over this wow callum that was this has been really bad you're training like shit son like i don't know what to do have we got anyone with like ridiculous anyone with really good determination Biggins, Zuma, Inflay, Quigley, Flat. I feel like we just need to like put him in a, in a group with these guys. Inflay, Zuma, Biggins. No. 
Euh... Ouais. Why is he doing like that? What's going on? That's weird. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Right, can you all just make his determination less than... Th uh, sorry, more than three, please. Please. Joe... Okay. I mean, part of the issue is we're not going to be uh, finding any of these players, are we? Ooh, can we start a coaching course? Yes. Let's go! Maybe that's the issue. Maybe I'm the problem. Discuss it. Let's go. Um, yeah. I bullied them. I bullied them into it. That's basically what I've done. I've put him into a group of really determined boys. So they can just yell at him until he gets good. Show me what you've got. Save. Nice one, too. Now we just need to be careful that we don't get caught out. L exactly like that. We need back. Well blocked. <clears throat> Where are our exits there? Chipping it forward. I don't like possession football anymore. <laughs> Thing is, though, like with that, is you're creating the better chances. Like I, I take that kind of stuff because you're creating the better chances. You're getting the more XG as well as keeping possession. We're just seeing that too much. We're just seeing too many fucking random hoofs forward. Every highlight's a free kick around our box.
Oh my god. The quick ball out worked. Where are you going with it? There were so many options! Every time! It's like, Bramall's there. Acres of space. You can put it across. There's a 2-1-2 two on, two on two at the back post there. Nope, I'll cut back. Lay back to Erdley. Erdley, 3-on-3 three three in the middle of the box. Gribbin, just do anything with it. Uh, we'll just wait until we lose it. It's fine. I don't think I want them to cut inside. Do what you want. Defensive areas are more... Mm. I can handle defensive areas. I just want my defenders to pass to a player in the same colour shirt. That's all I want. All I want is my players to pass, or at least try and pass, to a player in the same colour shirt. It just seems like they try and avoid it every time. There's another hoof. Throws it straight to them. I'm tired of expecting them to use their own pressing instructions. Just set everyone to an ultra high press. Bramol! Just kept it in. Is incredible. I want whoever has coded this match in to look at this and go, this is exactly what I envisioned. For a guy to do a 180 and hammer it out for a corner. I mean, he didn't hoof it down the pitch. I can't be that mad. That was incredible. Oh, Callum. Be more expressive in the final third, boys. See if we can trust you.
Callum. Nice. I'm about to hear it safe to find that Lukaku's on the Ballon d'Or back to back. What a man. Callum. Callum Grimmin! He's done it! He's got his second goal of the season. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. We've been way better the second half. They were all over us first half. What did I change? <laughs> what have I done? I think it just made it more expressive. This DLP in, in defensive mid has been a really good shout. I can't remember who it was, but whoever said it, that was a really good shout. The dude just, the the defenders, they would do still hoof it too much, but they at least will look for that playmaker. <laughs> what a clearance. Was that you, Tarion? I was um in an iron between a halfback and a DLP. And then I just went with a straight defensive midfielder. But DLP is definitely working. I'm giving him that... Uh, giving him that player to pass out to. First ever goal. First ever goal. Yeah, no, I, I do like a halfback. I, I fell out a little bit with a halfback last year, I think it was. Because, um... My issue with the halfback has always been that it, because it splits the defenders, it generally leaves just a ball over the top to a striker. Because as soon as they lose possession, sorry, as soon as the opposition gains possession, they'll step back up into midfield. And the defenders already be too wide. And that'll just leave a massive gap for, you, for their forwards to run into. That's generally been my issue with it. But. They're playing an inverted winger on that right hand side. An uh, inverted wing back, sorry. Try and force it down that side. Yeah, yeah. It, like I, I've played around with that a little bit this year. Just having Hardcastle as that guy that you can play the ball through has been has been better. Bramall. <gasps> we two up. We've scored two goals through open play. Let's fucking go! That was a nice move, that as well. Thanks. Lovely ball through for Bromall. That was a nice goal, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's starting to click. Maybe. What's this match engine working? I get it. You don't want it. Oh, Grimmin. He emptied a lot as well. That tutoring group's really paying off. Give it time. What do you mean, give it time for it to screw us in the ass? I'll give it time for our system to click. Stop chipping it. Stop chipping it. That's right. We've got quick... We've got quick defenders, at least. Oh, ball's over. Oh! <gasps> Gribbin! 
You've got to chase that down, mate. <clears throat> Why not both? Rummel. Rummel's been so dangerous down that right hand side today. Do it. I also want to pass in the space. <clears throat> Castle. His name just reminds me of uh, Harold and Kumar. And the old White Castle burgers. <gasps> oh! What a save! That was a wonderful ball across. That keeper's having a great game. Yeah. Keeper just made two wonderful saves. And they've just cleared it off the line. Go encourage him. Why not both? <laughs> Randall. Here we go. Get Brummel in again. Ribbon. Quigley. Hardcastle. Chips out. Banks is there. Wins is a corner. <sighs> Nutted across goal. Damn. in Ward with another save everyone's absolutely fucked by the way thought the went tremendously glad to hear it man you'll have to give us a virtual tour Uh, I hate, like, house hunting, man. Like, I, I have no, uh, house hunting and moving. It's the worst. You have all of my sympathy. There's a chance I might have to move in the summer. I hope not. Where I live now, like, it's too much. It's too expensive for me. But I can kind of, I can just about make it work. It was definitely, like, a last minute thing. Um, but I'd rather not move. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not move again. I'd rather pay too much money to live where I am than, than have to move again. Yeah, I, I remember him picking up Jimmy Wilson. Surely he's far too good for that level. Paying the pack and moving, yeah, that's the issue, man. Although I did like, I have streamlined my possession since the last move. I've, l I've basically got my computer and then my bed and my clothes. <laughs> like that's what I own. <laughs> they're, that's my, they're my they're my belongings. As depressing as that is. Good one, boys. And, and like we actually had a good performance there as well. People played well. Maybe. We're doing it. Maybe it's starting to happen. Next up as well, we've got a... We've got a home game. Which is nice. Superb sub. Well done. Blah, 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 blah. Forest Green at home, and then South End away, 23rd. Right, if we could beat Forest Green, who are... We could leapfrog Forest Green. And then we've got a game against South End. Dishon Bernard, ex-Man United. Oh, of Man United. 
Hmm. His contract expires in four months. Mmm. Mm. So do I put things in? Came with a suitcase like three months ago. Find a, um, a packing work. Like, you can actually get moving boxes really cheap on Amazon. Um, I did look into that. Like, I didn't need to. Like, I work in a shop where we have a lot of cardboard waste. So I just use all that. Like, I just break down a lot of cardboard boxes and take them home with me. Bimbugs are your go-to moving gear. Moving is such a good clear out opportunity. What's he save? I don't know, man. I'm just restreaming someone else who's playing it. You play Catanacha? I could play perfectly into our hands, actually. <clears throat> uh, we're Barrow Salon. We're Barrow in League Two. We're trying to play beautiful football and move them up the leagues, basically. Ruddy's actually played the same. I don't even know if Ruddy plays Football Manager anymore, man. Do 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 do. Harry Kane and Song Yu Min score for Tottenham. I'm really tempted to do a Spurs save at some point, just to try and get Harry Kane a shitload of goals. Like, I feel it could be just so fun with the... Like, my only my only goal is for Harry Kane to score as many goals as possible. Like, I'd love to do it so that he beats Alan Shearer's goal-scoring record or some shit. That being the goal. 261 goals. What's he on, like, 150 now, isn't he? Some shit. He's miles off. If he moves to Man City, he will... It, it will happen. He on? He's on 160 goals. Take off. What? 12, 14. So he's got 150 goals in game. I'd love to see Harry Kane break Shearer's goal scoring record, though. Like, is. is Goal return last couple of years has really scuppered it though. When he was doing like 25, 29, 30, back to back to back, like that was, that was nuts. He's had a lot of injuries, hasn't he? He's running to the ground, dude. Plays too much. <clears throat> bum bum. Bum bum bum. You don't rest that choice. As, as do you. Um. I feel like <clears throat> Gribbin's up turning four. Like, we just need to keep playing him. I feel like we just need to keep hammering Gribbin, keeping him in form. Who in the left? Drum on the right. He just had a really good game. We need to keep him out there. There you go. 
three wings on the bench. What could go wrong? Let's see Kane. Let's see. Kane, for me, is the perfect Aguero replacement. He is the perfect Aguero replacement. He can drop off the line. He's incredibly creative. So good on the ball. But he's just a, such a natural goal scorer. And the amount of chances that Man City create, I can only see him scoring like 30 plus goals every year. Like 25 in the league every year. Easy. Like in his peak, he's got like another five or six years at the top. Man, he'd be so good. Lever for you. He's as good as Lever, I think. And Lever's what thirty-two now. I don't. I don't see. I wouldn't see Man City paying the money to get Lever that it had cost to get Lever. I think Son could get in the City team. I don't know. He'd he'd get in it. They've got so many good wingers, though. Like... The only place that City are, are a bit thin at, honestly, is striker and left-back. They're the only positions that they don't have, like, world-class replacements for their world-class starters. They've got an unbelievable squad, Man City. I know it's cost, like, what, like, one and a half billion pounds or whatever, but... You can't argue with the quality of their team. They're outstanding, man. He's better than Sterling. Uh, yeah, probably. On the oh, what a finish from Quigley! Let's go. On the day, they're very similar players, though. I hate the idea of De Bruyne and Kane in the same team. See, I love it just as a football fan. Love the idea. Of hate it as a United fan. He'd go into that City team as probably, like, number one or number two winger, Son. But I've, they don't need more wingers. I think that's what I'm, like, Son would probably one of their, he'd be their number one or number two winger. But they don't need him. They've already got so many really good wingers. They do need a striker, though. You know, if I was in charge of Man City, I'd just be, I'd literally, I'd give Spurs a blank check, saying just, how, how much do you need? Give us Harry Kane. Sergio, thank you for... Thanks for all the fish. Um, thanks for the memories. But Harry Kane's coming in. He's on number one now. Been the difference between City and Liverpool all season. Don't forget, City had a really poor start to the season. City had a poor start to the season, and Liverpool were okay. It's just City are on what? Have they done like a 12-game winning streak or some shit? Some shit. Holland over Kane if the opportunity comes up. I'll be honest, I've not watched uh, Erling Holland play enough to have a proper, like, a proper opinion on his play style. I know he's an incredibly kind of hard-working, physical, quick, clinical finisher, but... I, like, I know more about Harry Kane's playstyle. And he's, you know, he's scoring a ton of goals in Germany where, like, teams can't defend. I don't know. I see... I kind of see Haaland's... I, I... Haaland screams Real Madrid for me. Like, he just... He is the... The biggest young name in football. He's a clinical goal scorer. They're looking for someone to replace Benzema. Like, he's just... And he just screams Galactico. Haaland, who, Haaland just screams... Um, Real Madrid for me. He, like, I can see I can see him in my mind's eye in that white shirt. Like, and the, I could totally see him selling him, like, selling the, the idea to him. It's like, we want you to come in to the club younger than Ronaldo, and we want you to break all the goal-scoring records. We want you to be the next Ronaldo.
but I'd say the start of the season. Yeah, yeah. City had a really poor start to the season. Leicester have been great all season. I just don't see Leicester being consistent enough. I don't see Leicester winning basically every game, which they're going to need to do to take the title off City. See, uh, but Le Leicester have been amazing. Leicester are a really, really good team. You go through their first choice, like first 11. Obviously, they're missing Chilwell this year, but like their first 11 is as good as. It's right up. It's probably not as good as Man City's first 11. It's probably up there with Liverpool's first 11, though. Really good. demand more try and get them fired up feels like every highlight is there the ball coming back to us hey he passed it there's the hoof <laughs> he just delayed the hoof hey but Gribbin playing off the line nice rough down the line Quigley, Devitt, easy ball, inside again. And again. Jones. Devitt's made a nice run. Should be shooting from there. And that's what killed the move. But yeah, slowly but surely we're um starting to like play have passages of play that I'm liking the look of. I wish my keeper had hands. Oh, you know what I did as well, actually. I just did that, didn't I, as well, last game. I gave up on the individual press instructions. I just told everyone to press like a maniac. Looks like it's settling. Yeah, yeah. I'd be happy with a comfortable mid-table finish. So, like, anywhere between, like, 12th and 18th. Comfortable mid-table finish. With the system looking like it's starting to take shape. And then in the in the summer, we can actually bring, like, a few more technicians in. Because that wasn't good. And, uh, and make it work. Why did the keeper lie down, man? You do both. What? Individual pressing instructions and a heavy pressing thing? You can't, because once you go on really high pressing, it automatically sets all your players to really high pressing. Nice. Bramall. Oh, you know what else I changed as well? Because I stopped them cutting inside, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. So like when you when you've got a really high pressing instruction, everyone's just set on standard. Because it like because the the team instruction overpowers that. So it just sets to the default. Although I've got like, less urgent on my defenders, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what changes I made. The reason Kane's got injury issues is because he has to, he's expected to play like 60 games a year. 
Whereas at Man City, like, they'd, they'd rest him now and again. Like, like, they'd still have Aguero for another year, and then they've still got uh, Gabby Jesus and other players you can play up front. That's the thing. Like, generally speaking, teams who play one up front will have a first choice striker, but they will rest him now and again. Or as Spurs, they don't. If he's fit, he plays. Even when he's not fit, he plays. My only concern with it would be that Harry Kane's, like, too much of a... He just sees, sees himself as a Spurs guy. Like, I'm going to try these guys in attack. He just sees himself as too much of a Spurs guy. Like, he's just going to be a one-man team. Yeah, Dave, that's really not nice. Cambo said he was going to gift subs if they won. Oh, well, is good, what was it? Gift gets sub for every goal they scored tonight. I think Dave should gift a goal for... gift a sub for every goal they don't score. <laughs> is, is there a big rivalry between Hibs and Aberdeen? You're from Aberdeen, aren't you? And you're a Hibs fan. Aberdeen. Ooh. Ooh. That was Hibs and Hearts. Yeah, Hibs and Hearts. I know Hibs and Hearts. That's a city rivalry, isn't it? Tired boys off. Let's get Platt. Matt Platt. <laughs> Disarm Dave. Perfection. Go on, Barry. Fuck's sake. <clears throat> Mate, come on, Gribbin. This is this is the problem of having a DLP in the DM spot. Gribbin there is passing it back to him before he's even got the ball on the penalty spot. You could have turned and shot.
I hate throw-ins in FM. <gasps> Call him! Should have been a goal. It should have been a goal. Share the spoils in the mid-table battle. Uh, but we need to do that. We need to do this. Then we need to do this. Nope, not cancel. Nice. <clears throat> Right, let's go. Let's go. He broke his ribs. No. Less than ideal. We're a lot higher up the pitch now. Which was our issue before. Even though we were playing like a like a slightly high line, we were just struggling real bad. We need to win this game though against South End. South End. Oh, how's the football? Quarter pass kicker. Okay. Oh, by the way, tomorrow, um, I'm going to be, they're really bad defensively. Um, I'm going to be watching the United game, so if there's a stream, it's going to be a late one. Uh, there's a chance that I probably, I might not stream though, so we'll see. Be nice for Aberdeen fans to experience civilization. Are you from Aberdeen, Dave? <laughs> He's slagging off your hometown. Although I guess, I guess, I guess, if anyone knows what it's like there, then you are. Fuck that place. I know it's not so much shell. Fair. Fair. I could not possibly uh I obviously can't argue with your with your point then. What the hell do I know? If anyone can slag off that uh, someone's hometown, it's the person from that town. <clears throat> Callum Grubbins looking motivated. Holy shit. My mentoring group is working wonders.
Well defended. She doesn't even go. I, I've never watched Mean Girls, Dave. Sorry. I know you keep telling me to watch it. But maybe then I'll just get all the pop culture references. I don't know. Oh shit, is um is DCL playing today? No. Okay. It's good for my fantasy league team. That's plus eight points for me. Oh nice. Play it back. James is there. Can I get the ball in? Grim in! Ooh. Ooh. Grim in. Nicely done. Biggins. James is in. Son, let's fucking go. They need to sort their stadium out. Look at the state of this. Breaking down versus Emma Hayes. What? Oh right, yeah, she's the South End manager. I was, like, I was like, I was like trying to catch up in chat. It's like, am I fighting her? I like my chances. So it's Everton and blue one. Um, it's uh, Amazon. Oh. We're playing well. We are actually starting to play some like better football, which is nice. We're not great, but we're getting better. Stop hoofing it, please. Stop.
back, so John Stones must wait. Demand more. Blip, 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 blip. Please. Cut him. God damn. Z, how you doing, man? So many cat jams. How are we doing, guys? Welcome. Hey, Z, we're trying to play, um... We're trying to play, like, proper possession football. The match engine hates it. <laughs> how are we doing, guys? Welcome. How's your stream, dude? An army of dancing cats. I mean, these these are some banging tunes. Absolutely banging tunes, sir. Just throw everyone forward. Let's do it. Let's go! Cats demand their belly rubs. God damn. Uh, it's on a, a Zealand town in the second tier of Portugal today. Nice. Nice. Well, welcome all. Oh, we're all bloody fabulous. And uh, thanks for all the follows, guys. Welcome. I've taken a break from FM for a while. For reasons of incredible frustration. Uh, and I'm back. And the frustration has stayed the same. Rub my belly. You have that? You have to pay for that kind of privilege. We ride. We pepe run. Do I, I didn't even think I had cat jam on my, uh, I booted it of, but I knew. Damn. I probably got two people leaves as well. Nice. No, it's not as good as Pepe Run though. That's my favorite amount, Pepe Run. Spam it. Spam it now. We run. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. I 
Yeah, can't see him. Look at the guys in the crowd. They're all wearing Viking Dan standard issue hats. Hell yeah. That's how you know they're real supporters, dude. Let's ignore the fact that we're in South End, right? Orange Viking Dan issued hats. Hell yeah. You choose the hotness. Yeah, man, this is the um, the pretzel disco playlist. The dancer. the dancer. Right, you're allowed to play it forward now. Basically, for the last few hours, I've been trying to figure out ways to stop our players randomly hoofing it forward. And now I actually want them to hoof it forward. Merch sales to the roof. Nice. Nice. I can't believe we didn't win that. I just it feels like I'm telling my players they're unlucky in every game. They're not. They're just bad. But we're in 15. My board only want a mid-table finish. This is a consolidation seri uh, series season. And then. And then. We go full pet ball. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. It's pretty mid tabley. I'm delivering exactly what I asked for. Form's not great though. Actually, we've not lost in four. We've only won one, but we've not lost in four. We're just unlucky none of them are good footballers. We've got a couple of good footballers. Jamie Devitt's pretty good for the level. Um, we've got Callum Gribbin, who is who is a good footballer. Just mentally absent. Yeah, if we can um, bring in a few technicians in the summer, I think we'll be good. <clears throat> Can't wait for the shopping montage. Even Rookie had a montage! Montage! Even Barrow need a montage! Montage. Here's the first. The first youth intake is going to be terrible, though. Van Veen finds a way. Van Veen finds the V. Even with his hair, is. Yeah, yeah. He still lurks around. He's still in the shadows. How are we looking on the old uh, graph now? <clears throat> right, so we're we're basically man, like we're just not attacking enough. XG per game, we're a little little above average. We're well below in the conceded per game. Defensively, we're okay. Just in target ratio, we're above average. Oh, no, 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 no. We're the green. All right, we're very below average. <laughs> we're above average conceded per game. Oh, man, this isn't good, is it? Ah, uh, pass completion's good, though. And that's, that's the real statistic, right? That's the real statistic. He's in the other day in the room stream. He looks, dude, he looks. No, I've been, uh, we've been chatting a bit. He's doing all right, and I'm glad to hear it.
Only banks be better. <clears throat> I don't want to criticize people too much on their training because our training is garbage. So, like, I'll do it. Like, if they're shit for a, mo a couple of months in a, se in a row, then I'll do it. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Football team. Assemble! Quicken's gonna come in. We're gonna play him as DLF though. Um, Tommy. Marissa Tommy. Kian and Ollie Banks. And then we'll bring the boys. <clears throat> the boys. Yeah. I don't think I did the last game. Maybe that's why we didn't win. I don't know. I'm looking for any excuse right now. Let's go! Again. Oh, that was a bad pass. He's getting back though. Fight across to nobody. But he's fine. It's the idea that counts. Banks is in. Tommy, swing on. Swing on! Swung in! Luke James! Let's go! We've scored a goal, chat. We've scored a goal from nice play. My god. Man, this is this is so abba. Mm. Do the splits for no reason. There's always a very good reason for doing the splits. I'll have you know. I think you shall find. Queening Dan Eat a flan Only smells of ham Poor James We're playing some nice football now I'm liking it I don't, uh, I don't possess the genitalia for that. Not on my person, anyway. Obviously, I've got multiple in the freezer. I 
I don't assume you can. <laughs> I'm not even sure I've got one anymore, to be honest. <clears throat> Look at this. This is beautiful football. Oh, things you love to see. It. <clears throat> Max is in again. He's off though. I'm really liking the, the getting the midfielders to split and playing with narrow wingers. We seem to be getting a load of overloads. Here's a perfect example. So this is our centre mid right. We pull up our tactic. So this is James and Flanagan. So Flanagan's peeled out from this spot. You can't see that, can you? He's pulled out from his midfield spot. And now we've got these two guys pinning against the uh, the their left back getting behind just causing overloads now James is in behind L unluckily for us we've got no one attacking the box but <clears throat> I'm really liking it it's nice I just wish you could do it with centre backs Add MV93, thank you for the follow. Uh, ben said in, Echo the King. Uh, William own will some some numbers and stuff. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Jinxter, uh, Roscoe Dodger Blades, Luke Conway, Alupo. Thank you for the follows, guys. Welcome. I appreciate you. Love the breakdown. Cheers. I mean, is there a better example of a hoof? But, we've now got our... Uh, I really want our, our fullbacks getting a bit further forward. Let's get them on, um, on attack. We should get some, like, omega overloads if we do that, though. Well, again, look, we've got a mare. Two on one. We've got our players have dropped off the line. And we've even got an overload here with the two on one. There's obviously these two guys screening. We've got an overload on the right hand side. Our right back's fully, fully open. Got a one-on-one -on -one there. We're just creating nice overloads. Jones Flanagan. There's James. That's a two-on-two. -two. Can you find the through ball? Back to Erdley. Have a nice recycle. Tom amazing behind. Another corner. <clears throat> I'm, go I'm getting full Gary Neville. Full mass Neville. Go on, pressure him. There we go, we want it back. Nice. Go on, quickly. Go on, Joe! <clears throat> so many of those balls just end up in corners. Which sucks because we're terrible from set pieces. Got a 
huge bit of space. It's off the boast. Off the boast. Spell it wrong. Post. So much better to watch the five matches so ago. Oh yeah, definitely. Hundred percent, dude. They've had a. They've had not even had a shot. I feel like we are just missing. There's a couple of little things that we are missing, though. I'm wondering why they played into space is one of them.
And shoot he did. Yeah, the first goal of the season. It's the only goals we ever concede. There at least so much space. Ribbon! Tribune is a half buck. We've gone through it from, so. We should have the, t like, the most space to operate in there. Have a pop. Go on. Let's go! Are we making beautiful football work? Got 71% of the possession. Where are Aspen Thorpe? Uh, I assumed they were really low. They are... I can't see. Oh, they're just below us. We've absolutely dominated them, though. Hell yeah. We've got zero points in the Trumpers loop for the first time in FM. Damn. We've all been there, dude. Ribbon. Great ball. Oh, shoot. Faster. <laughs> oh, man. That was a wonderful little reverse ball through. Lovely bit of football. We still comprehensive. Let's just watch an extended, shall we? Yeah, yeah. It was. It's not the easiest of groups, is it? Let's be honest. Look at it. They're starting to get it. They're starting to get the idea. Back early, swung in, grip in. Can't get his header on target. Breaks on. Let's go. Go on, Callum. Absolute domination. The only three shots on target is a little bit of a worry, but... Hold on, boys. It's a really good performance. We'll, uh... We'll give Young... A terrible performance like that will get you substituted. He's got a screamer. From 25 yards. Right, that's 30 points and 24. Up into 12. Byron make it five unbeaten. Hell yeah. Were there no more tweaks I made there? I don't think there was, was there? Hell no. Late playoff push. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but, like, it's not what I'm aiming for. I literally, like, if we can finish here, would be perfect first season. Because it'll just mean that we can clear out a little bit of the Deadwood, bring in a few new technicians. Never learn Pep's lineup. I have no Man City players in my 
uh, Fantasy League team for that very reason. In that, like, he'll even drop, like, De Bruyne for two or three games. You can never really, like, you can never figure out his lineups. Because their squad's so good. Where, like, the Man United, Bruno, and Rashford will always play if they're available. You know? Liverpool, they'll always have Salah on the pitch. I feel bad for Nathan Aki, man. Like, Nathan Aki is a good defender. And, uh, he just can't get a look in. Can't get a game. 40 million for a, a player that doesn't play. Is he, is he injured? I'll let it, I'll let it slide then. How good has Diaz been since he signed there? Diaz has been incredible. What a signing. FM research has got it right. Actually, they went in with the idea of being a backup. I think the like I think the idea was he's he's the backup. He was supposed to be the backup centre back left back. Um but he just ain't getting games. You're in your training weeks a lot harder than streamers. Are you doing it wrong? If it's working for you, you ain't doing anything wrong. I I literally, I leave the training to my assistants. I I enjoy micromanagement on FM to a point. I don't really enjoy going right into the, right, well, this week we need to be doing X, Y, Z to training, blah, 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 blah. I literally go in. I, I leave my assistant to it. I'll generally get a good... My best coach or assistant, whoever the best coach is, to look after it, and I will, uh, I will set it so it's double intensity when everyone's on full health, when everyone's full. That's it. Like I'll check. That's the only thing I'll change. Is that another Phil Foden goal? Phil Foden is fucking incredible, by the way. He said, set, set, set schedules and load them. Um, I have done in the past. <coughs> I've done it offline and stuff. Honestly, for, for streaming, I don't know how much people want to watch that. <laughs> want to watch me spend 10 minutes doing a weekly training session, you know. It's... Oh, good. Sorry, chap. <clears throat> Had a bit of a line today. There's um, there's a level that there's a level of depth that I don't want to go into when I'm streaming. It's very different when you play it in your own time and like just kind of like clicking through it over the course of a day. But for a stream, like I don't know if I want to dedicate. 10 minutes of every hour to doing no dedicated uh, training sessions and stuff like that. Is everyone light? Oh, has everyone had a bit of a rest? Nice. We're going in full strength then. Um, no, I'm trying to keep it left back. Tome. Oh, Bramall's a bit injured. 
You know what? Last few games you've been really good. Actually, no, you had one good game. Lol. Uh, you're first off the bench, though. Callum's been playing better. Even though he's not been scoring a load, he's been playing better. Let's fucking go. I do like I'll do it now and again, like when he gets to the end of the season and my assistant manager's doing a week of intense fitness training, like I'll take that off. <laughs> I'll t I'll stop that, but generally speaking, I'll just I'll just let it go. Or if there's big games coming up, I'll do like specific, like I'll drop the rest days and things. I never sim pre- uh, I'll be honest, I probably watch pre-season more than I do regular season. Because that's where I really get an idea of new sign-ins or young players that are coming in. Tactic changes, all that kind of stuff. Oh! Ho, ho! Yes! That's what we want to see! That was a lovely little goal. Nice, two-touch passing. Dribbing, dropping off. Playing back through the line. Tome running through. Tucking it in the bottom corner. Beautiful. I'm getting less annoyed about the, the random chips forward now as well because it's seeming, it seems to be more understandable when they're doing it. Like there's a one-on-one a -on -one through ball on. It's, it seems like it, there's... It's more an, an understandable... Oh, what? What? That was a wonderful tackle! How is that a penalty? Look at this! Where is it? Ball played through. A phenomenal tackle! Penalty. God damn. Save it. Oh, I did! Oh! I should, I should start telling my players to do certain things more often. Shoot, he scores. Save it, he does. <laughs> Just the, game, the way the game's going. The game wasn't out 30 years ago. Playing well. Fire him up. Let's go. Let's go. Driven off the line. Nice. Man, so many, so many flying challenges. I love it. Down. 
Scored his first ever goal. possession football we're playing put in Grimmin oh <laughs> what a goal that was a wonderful goal my chair is about to collapse Tome laid out to Erdley swung it in at the far post again with the overload he got a 3 on 2 at the far post Hell yeah. That was liquid shit. Good go. Good job, sir. Wacko. We go, Tommy on the outside. Any support? See, I feel like if we had, um, I think we might need to go attacking on these fullbacks. Just so they get up a little bit more in a, and support the attacks. Just get beyond the, the marker. It's been a close game, this. Grooms, we have. We do need to bear in mind for the XG that they did have a penalty. So that's 0.7 XG. Devitt, finish that. Oh! Should have been a goal. Danny Rose. Surely not the same one. I only get Flanagan off and get Banks on. You know what the big change was? The biggest change... That was terrible clearance, what you doing? Uh, the biggest change was taking those playmakers out of midfield. A wide mid still sitting there, yeah, yeah. We took those playmakers out of the centre of midfield. And we just seem to be doing better. I think it's because they're not trying to force it through them. So they're, they're looking more for the free man. Grimmin! Oh! <laughs> what a goal! What a ball from Jones! And what a finish from Callum Grimmin. Things you love to see. Gribby nods it down. James knocks it back. Jones, first time over the top. You'll love to see it. That was a... That's a fifth place Grimsy. Grimsby. Up in the top half of the t uh, table now. Uh, somebody can watch Champions League games here for some reason. Uh, which game is you want to watch? Uh, Callum Gruen and Neil Hurdley both had great games. Nice. Gruen with two in a game saves so broken. Either that or he just won't score for another ten games. We could not be more mid-table if we tried. Go for the board lovers. Six unbeaten. Superb. Superb, son. Come on, Callum!
A pre uh, preseason predicted finish was like 15th, I think. Oh no. They expected us to be like relegation fodder. Still liking where we are. What a B minus. I wonder whether it's too early to be asking for a new contract. Let's see what they say. Overachiever. Hell yeah. Right, we're locked in. To be fair, we, we had a two-year deal anyway. Yes. Ah. New deal. Let's go. Fuck off. The manager looks just like me. Very creepy. Uh, I hacked the SI servers. That's what happened. Barrow Lifer. It's all flipped on his head. I mean, we are only five points off the playoffs with the game in hand. Philip Stuperovic. What? Man, that's cheating. He was he's like an ex Wonder Kid, right? You're too far ahead. I'm not getting carried away, don't worry. We got Bratford. Bratford away. I think I did, you know. Big Nige, mate. Big Nige at Bradford. Mithy Bullwala, thank you for the follow. Hi. We're keeping Callum in. Um... You back in. Uh, I mean, everyone's looking all right. Devitt, Flanagan, Tomé. I did say. Did I promise Holly Banks would be more games? I can't drop any of my defense. They're all playing really well. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Uh, still sticking with the tactic? Uh, we still, we've redesigned the, the tactic, but we are definitely going for possession. We rebuilt everything, basically, from the ground up to start the stream. 
And slowly but surely, we've been improving every game, game on game. And the last, uh, the game we just played, we had like 70% possession. But we're winning games now, we're creating chances. Players have started picking up form. I think we found the right combination of roles. Yeah, man. No, it's been good. We're on, like, was it a six-game unbeaten run now? We only, I think we've only won two of those, but... You know, it's the right turn in form. What's Lee Novak doing in League 2? Terrible. Zebra in the mud. It's alright. Ronaldo will probably score a fucking second half hat trick or something. You know what he's like. I'll tell you what, like, sitting so low in this chair right now, like, messing my legs up. We've not had enough of this game. It's been a weird thing, hasn't it? Like, the last few years. With, with big clubs with high expectations, hiring managers with no acumen, you know. This playlist is the tips, by the way. It's fantastic. Lampard, Pirlo, out to LA. Yeah. I mean, look, look, I'll, I will say for Ole, at least he's got like a years of management experience and he's won titles with Mulder and stuff, but still. But yeah, Rooney's another. Gerard. I mean, Gerard's doing well at, at Rangers, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what, what, if you can judge his managerial quality from that. <clears throat> so it always used to be a case of like, didn't matter how big you were as a player, like you still had to go and work your way up through the the lower leagues and stuff. Maybe it's the, I don't know, maybe it's the headline factor. Maybe it's the, you know, looking good for sponsors. Something improved Rangers. Yeah, but would, would Rangers have improved no matter the manager, you know? They've, they've still got the draw and the ability and, like, the money to improve from where they were. He's the only one who's lasted a decent while. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see how the second half of this season goes. Like, if he gets Champions League football, he'll be be here next year.
Blah 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 Uh chat I think I'm gonna win it there been like four hours I need to eat I've not had any dinner I'm getting I'm getting hungry I need to go eat some food uh, I'll be back live tomorrow about the same time I might go a bit late tomorrow I'll 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 make a snack and we'll do we might do some late night uh dinner with Steve tomorrow I want you no 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 sorry not tomorrow tomorrow I'm taking I'm probably taking off because I'm gonna watch the United game maybe an evening stream but uh Thursday I'll be back I'll be back but uh thank you for tuning in thank you to everybody who subscribed thank you for all the follows big shout out to to Z as well for the raid thank you very much thank you for you all anyone who has stuck around thank you for sticking around I'll be back live tomorrow. We're going to continue this journey. We're going to try and keep our... Um, I mean, it's the first game we've lost in... Six games? So we're going into February. The window's about to close. And we'll try and get like a decent way towards the end of the season tomorrow, I guess. Um, yeah, cheers for tuning in, guys. I love you. Who's live? Who's live? Who's live? Oh, Klatz is live. Let's go show Klatz some love. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Show Klitz some bloody love. I'll see you all. On, I'll see you all tomorrow, maybe for an evening stream. If not, I'll see you all Thursday. Oh, bye bye now. He's got great mentals, really good mentals, um, and then decent physicals and things in terms of like passing the.